Let's start by creating a sampler, the NNXT. Let's right click to initialize it because we want to make our own patch. We don't want the piano preset. So we've got an initialized patch. We then have to extend the editor by clicking on this little triangle here. And you'll see it's quite complex, but like most complex plugins, it's about knowing what to zone in on and what to ignore in the early stages. For now, the most important thing is probably this window here. We have a list of potential samples, which is empty at the moment. These will be your WAV files. And there's a keyboard here, which shows us how many keys, the key zone or key range of each one of those samples. So let's start by loading a sample over quite a few keys. Let's click on the folder icon there, browse sample. Uh, I've got some here. Let's try that one. Okay. Now if we look in this section up here, we can see that as well as showing us the keys that it's mapped to, there's also a grayed out key here, which is the root key, in this case C3. That means if I press C3, we'll hear the sample the way it was intended. The darkness. The darkness. Okay, and if I play lower down, we'll hear the sample doing the characteristic Barry White thing. The darkness, the darkness, the darkness. And if I play it above C3, obviously we hear it doing Alvin and the Chipmunks. The darkness, the darkness, the darkness, the darkness, the darkness. Now that root key can be moved by changing this value here, and we can see it move as we go up and down. I'm okay with it at C3. There are other parameters here. We can edit the start and end points. If I just wanted it to say darkness instead of the darkness, I could play around with that whilst playing the sample. The darkness. I'm just pressing the key over and over again to kind of hear the attack of it. Darkness. 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 Okay, I can even reverse it here with the play mode. Put it there to BW, which is backwards. Okay, let's put that back. I could, if I wanted to, loop a section as well. We could go to forward loop. And I have a loop start and loop end here, in which is a percentage of the length of the sample. So let's just put that randomly somewhere in the middle. 22 to about 75. The darkness, 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 so that it's there and it's just one key now. If I press one key either side, the darkness. I'm pressing the key below there, we can't hear anything. The darkness, darkness, darkness. I have to press C3. Let me just turn that annoying loop off. So there's nothing stopping me now loading up more samples. Let's find a chord stab. Just autoplay these, can't remember what they are. Okay, that might be one that I want to have over a few keys. So I might put it on the key below, C3, where the darkness is. That chord stab now goes down on all the keys below it. Let's just see what that sounds like. Got the annoying velocity on it again. Turn that off. The, the, the darkness. That's C3, but one key below it. hear that stab. Let's find a third one. Let's use an explosion. Oh, now what happened there was, this is what you have to be careful of, I forgot to click off that zone and it's replaced that sample that I had before of the stab 
with an explosion. Now I didn't want it to do that, so I'll do a Command Z. Make sure I click off it, and then load the sample. Otherwise, I'll overwrite it. There. Now we've got a third one. Let's move that to the key above, and we should have an explosion. Okay, now, the great thing about NNXT, advantage over NN19, is that there are lots of different outputs on the back. We can see there are 16 mono outputs or 8 stereo outputs. So there's nothing stopping me putting those samples onto different mixer channels so I can EQ them and add effects in different ways. Um, first of all, I have to assign them to different outputs. So with these being stereo samples, I'll click on the darkness first and down here in the bottom right there's an output selector which is on 1 and 2 which is the main outputs. I'm going to put the chord stab by clicking there. I'm going to put that to 3 and 4 and the explosion to four and f uh, sorry 5 and 6. Flip the rack around 3 and 4 to mix a channel 2, 5 and 6 to mix a channel 3 we should be able to see now on the mixer that they're on different channels. The darkness. The darkness. Okay, and then if we like that particular preset, we might want to use it in another project. We can obviously save it up here. This is the actual saving of the preset. Don't get confused with the sample browser there's an actual preset browser here so let's click on the floppy disk and we can name that and save it and there we have it